Hey ladies, it's Coco Natural here with you and I actually am going to be doing a tutorial with my Camille Rose today. Um, this is how my hair kind of turned out with using Camille Rose Curl Maker. I actually used my own leave-in conditioner and um, then I put the curl maker and then I twisted it up and then I used my cold wave rods to actually set the hair, the twist on, and so it gave me a nice little spiral drop um, when I took them out this morning. So I wanted you to be able to kind of see what it looked like after I was done. I'm really pleased. Um, one thing I did see that I did get some flakes. I don't know if you can really see them, especially in the bangs at the ends, when I started to pull them apart. But as you'll see in my video, um, as I'm doing it, I used a lot of product. I used three squirts per twist with this and I think that's just too much. Um, it was very moisturizing but I wanted to make sure my hair was slick that I got that slip with my hair when I was doing it and so that's why I kind of put a lot on there but now I see that I can use probably one pump at the most for each twist and it should be fine. It's a very soft hold. It's a not a crunchy at all. Not even the least bit crunchy. Um, as far as giving you curl definition, um, I think it's pretty good and it gives you shine. The only thing I put on my hair this morning was a little bit of Jane Carter's Nourish and Shine um, to take down my twist. But that was it. Um, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think I found a new um, best friend for my so twist So hey, good outs. morning YouTube. It's Coco Natural. It is so early in the morning and you guys will not believe that I woke up this morning with Camille Rose on my brain. So, I went ahead and I shampooed out my hair. Um, I got all the product that had built up over the week. And I would have normally just co-washed my hair. But because I wanted to do a product review with this, I went ahead and shampooed everything out of my hair. And I started off using Camille Rose uh, Moisture Max to deep condition my hair. So I shampooed everything out and then I applied Camille Rose Moisture Max Conditioner. I hope you can see that really good. I applied this to my hair. Um, it actually has coconut milk, distilled water, coconut oil, shea butter, uh, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera juice, evening prime rose oil, babu oil, um, olive oil. It's got all kind of good stuff in here, and it's, I use it as a deep conditioner. Um, it says you can uh, wrap hair with a plastic cap and add heat for 20 to 25 minutes. Rinse, moisturize, and style your hair with other Camille Rose products. So I'm using that as my conditioner, and when I wash it out, I will use my own leave-in um, conditioner for my hair. And then I will apply one of her styling products, one of the Camille Rose styling products. Which one, y'all? I do not know. Mwah. Mwah. I don't know which one I'm going to apply yet. Um, I just bought this one at the hair show. It is a new product in their product line. The Camille Rose Curl Maker, and it's a gel, um, and it says to apply ample amount to conditioned and detangled hair, sections soaking wet hair with fingers and distribute and, you know, re-wet sections as they're drying. So basically, this is, you know, kind of a wash and go tool. You know, basically, the instructions tell you to do as you would for a wash and go. I love that it has a pump. Um, and it seems like it's a very creamy, creamy gel. So I don't know if I'm going to do this. I personally, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. I'm going to go, I really personally don't do wash and goes that often. I don't like how my curls always turn out with wash and goes. Although, wash and goes, when I first um, did my big chop, loved it. Loved rocking a wash and go with a headband. But as my hair got longer, my wash and goes just kind of start looking like jerry curls so don't do the wash and goes too much anymore so i will probably use either one of these products for twists so i'm probably try it first with twists um and then i'll try it as a wash and go maybe as a second um trial product review that kind of thing just to so show you what i get um and then my other option is the camille rose natural natural almond j uh twisting butter so I don't know which one I'm going to do. This says apply butter to dry or wet hair and twist. 
and basically um, it has extra moisture and elongation. I don't know. I've tried the moisture butter already. So this um, will be a little different to try the twisting butter. And I use either one of these products as a styling cream. I will put my own uh, homemade leave-in conditioner in to moisturize my hair. And then I'll put the product on. And that kind of gives me the best um, foundation or base as to whether or not the product works as opposed to using different leave-in conditioners. And my leave-in conditioner always has worked with every product that I've used. So... I don't see why it won't work now. So anyway, just want to put that out there that that's my personal preference for a leave-in. I don't kind of want to switch and swap. So I'm deep conditioning with Camille Rose, and then I'm going to use one of their styling products to actually style my twist today, and we will see what we come out with, okay? After rinsing out my deep conditioner, I put my hair in sections to make it easier to work with. I have my wide tooth comb and denim brush for detangling, and my spray bottle filled with water and olive oil. I'm going to use my leave-in conditioner to add moisture before adding my product of choice, my Camille Rose Curl Maker. As you can see, I'm very excited. I'm going to work with my hair in small sections by dampening it with my water and olive oil, adding moisture with my leave-in conditioner, and then adding Camille Rose Curl Maker before I two strand twist my hair. I'll do this process throughout my entire head. Now that I have Stella all twisted up, I can start the process to set her on cold wave rods, aka perm rods. Some of my favorite rods are the gray color because it works best for the length of my hair. As I'm applying the wave rods, I make sure to start on one end and spiral all the way up to the other end of the cold wave rod. I make sure that I don't give it all the way to the roots of my hair so that I have length and can add volume to my hair. One thing I've learned with my cold wave rods is I want to make sure they go in the same direction throughout my entire head. So each wave rod and twist is going in the same direction. I'm going to do the same exact process for every twist throughout my entire head. When it comes to styling, I usually like to pin up the sides of my hair using my wave brush. 
I'll use a little bit of Eco Style or olive oil just to lay down my edges. It's a great gel for that. You don't need a lot of gel for to lay down the edges using Eco Styler. I use the soft bristles of the wave brush just to make them lay down and pin up the sides using bobby pins. I'll do the same for the other side and then add accessories. You don't have to pin up the sides. It's just a style that I like to do. It frames my face nicely. <laughs> 